legends are true. The legends are true. Ooh, spicy. Oh, very spicy. <laughs> Relics got buffed. Relic of Extinction's cheaper. Relic Vault is cheaper. So surely, surely that means Relic Demon Hunter is a high tier meta dominant deck. Well, no, <laughs> the early data's in. Relic Demon Hunter's definitely a little better, but still not a high tier deck. That said, man, I had a lot of personal success with this list. I don't know if it just fits my playstyle. We had a good spot in the meta, but I just could not stop winning with this particular Death Rattle Relic Hybrid Demon Hunter. It just has so many big, awesome late game threats. Denathrius, Zymox, Zlog, Blackthorn, Kurtris, and just crazy big Relic plays off Relic Dimension. These get big enough to make these cards like zero mana sometimes. This is a really fun, really cool deck. I climbed a bunch with it, had some absolutely insane games as you're about to see. So no, this is probably not still a high tier deck on average, but can you find success with this one? I certainly think so. Ooh, that's such a strong pair. I think you have to keep it, honestly. It's so crazy good. I'm not gonna keep the Crixis early. If this is a relic package we're going for, I'd much rather hit any relic to open this game up, right? Oh, it's clunky, dude. Turn four on dimensions though isn't bad. That's pretty good. We're gonna draw two cards discounted by one and two cards discounted by two, which should should net some nice tempo back. Okay, that's also very nice on three. We'll probably play this honestly just to double bump this one, right? It, it, there is a chance I need more board and I play this with a double bump on on the relic vault, but I doubt it. Quest hunter, they're really good at killing minions anyway, right? So. I don't think I want to do that too much. This is one of those games where I almost might need to win it from hand, but we're just not good at that other than Denathrius. So, I don't know. It's going to be tough. Yeah, I was too surprised that Hunter Quest didn't get nerfed much at all. I, I mean, technically, I think some lists run uh, Wild Seeds, and thereby the Stag was sort of a nerf to Quest Hunter, but it, it sure doesn't feel like one, does it? It didn't feel like a meaningful one to me, that's for sure. So... Yeah, I, I was also shocked. I haven't run into a lot of quest hunters, so I can't say I was really frustrated by it yet, but but definitely shocked. I may end up being very frustrated by it though, too. Mark shot is certainly not the, mo <laughs> the most efficient play here, so that's all right. Yeah, I still hate quest lines in general, I think. Honestly. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Bell Rattler. Oh, Phantasms is pretty cool. Okay. Bell Rattler. It's weird. I. It's like I. I don't actually really want to play very many minions here, but what else am I gonna do this game? How do I win, right? Dimox is making five fives currently, drawing a bunch of stuff. I have to go for a big board next turn, I guess. Like Beastmaster, Razor, Razor, Razor. Maybe, maybe Treasure Guard, Rafael Redler somehow, but I doubt it. I don't think I can ever just like tempo a Kael'thas, can I? Is there a world where I just tempo a six mana Kael'thas and like say screw you, figure it out? It's really good. They're really good at figuring it out. It's the problem. Some decks that might work against. I feel like the hero cards okay, I think. The hero cards don't seem to bother me ever really. Cariel, I know it's frustrating for a lot of people, but I really like playing Cariel, so that one feels okay to me. Ah, oh, we're gonna see the nerf in action, look! So we're gonna get a 3-2 weapon! Yeah, Guff, yeah, Guff, I, yeah, okay, Guff, sure, sure, Guff's pretty frustrating, yeah. I buy that. Guff is tough. Sure, sure, sure. It's hard to hard to deny that Guff is a pretty frustrating card. Yeah, I don't think these matter too much. Theoretically, the Brazer Boars are better than the Fell Rattler, but from a curve standpoint, this I got two minions for one. Five health's pretty good against Hunter. I don't know that I really need it's the thing. I don't know what 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 purpose it's serving, right? I don't know what it does. I, I think I need to hit like Relic of Dimensions off the top here, and then. Maybe just draw some really crazy cheap threats because they've been discounted so much already, right? I do like that they haven't really turned face much at all. That's kind of good news, I think. 
They've mostly been dealing with tidying up my minions. That's gonna help me later find time and windows, maybe? Let's keep them busy, right? My past cannot change. Tempo Kale. I'm sure they'll be able to kill it, but they're really gonna have to focus on it, right? Like, they're gonna have to make it a point of focus. Which I think is important, and if not, I'm just gonna go for or Zymox, of course. It's a little weird from a board standpoint. I, I kind of need some stuff to die here, but we'll do our best. This does not affect Zymox, as a reminder. We're not actually playing the relic in this case. That's a lot of mana to commit here, dude. That seems like a good sign, doesn't it? This actually only makes three minions, so I guess we're, we're fine, aren't we? Well, no, I gotta play a minion. I gotta play two minions first. So I actually do need them to clear stuff a little bit here. The, the, razor, the razor fin does not clear itself. I actually need them to clear some space for me if I wanna... I wanna net the discount here. Because remember, the Kalthos is not counting itself. I have to play two new minions. That, that might help a little, okay, that helps. Maybe we, uh... Oh, they're killing the 3-3 here, too. That's still, though, it's gonna be impossible because that's chaining into another chainy minion. I can't... Like, oh, give me the 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, my God. Yes, are you kidding me? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I don't have the space, but it's still worth it, right, just to, uh... To clear the minions and get another giant threat on board. Maybe I use the relic here just to make space, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's worth like a couple five fives or bigger potentially, right? So yeah, let's let's just make space. That seems totally worth it to me. We have another one in hand anyway, right? So it's not like it's a big deal. Okay. So the legends are true. The legends are true. Ooh, spicy. Oh! Very spicy! <laughs> nice. Don't really have anything else to do, huh? Okay. Dude. Dude. The tempo. Kalthos was a heads up call. Dang. Get it, Zymox. This is a monster board for Quest Hunter, right? I don't know how they deal with this. Yeah. Nice, dude. I love it! This pair is insane, yeah. I mean, do we cake this on one? This deck doesn't have a lot of natural ones. I probably do. Only Tusk Bruiser feels good on one, right? So. Ah, I see you brought guests. Ah, golden one. Let's play the golden one. Tusk Piercer. All right. It's fine. Leave that sucker in, no problem. Weirdly, I don't actually really want another Death Rattle in hand. I may, may be better off holding this attack. It's nice to have the luxury to choose, so I don't mind this first attack, but next turn I may not attack because I want the, the Razor Fin to hit a Crixus pretty much always, Where right? Whoa, sketchy stranger demon hunter. Thought this might be a big demon hunter. No, it's got Renathal and stranger, so it can't really be a big Vandar demon hunter. Could be a yeah, Renathal relic, of course. I don't like relics with Renathal though too much because makes it even harder to find your relics, which is already pretty challenging, I think. Could be a rogue, true, could be a rogue. Sketchy rogue, secret rogue makes a little more sense maybe. Yeah, that's a reasonable suggestion. Um, sadly, the discounted Talon does hit off the Razor Fin, but that's actually not a bad roll. This is now the bad roll, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make it any worse here. Let's just wait. Secret Demon Hunter. Is it really rogue? We have the same portrait, by the way. That's kind of funny. I didn't even realize. It's a really sick portrait, by the way. This is a nice looking portrait. It's a rogue! They didn't trick us at all! We knew all along! Not not the least bit sneaky. Make me a 7-7, seven, seven. make me a 7-7, seven, seven. make me a 7-7. Seven, seven. Don't get this, this is gonna get stranded. Don't make this. Make me a 7-7. Seven, seven. 
Come on! Make me a beautiful little 7-7, seven, seven, a chill little 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, yeah, you'll have this portrait. Yeah, I like purple and green always as a color combo. It's like always been one of my favorite color pairings. So I like the Incredible Hulk and... I don't know. Any other purple and green character. 7-7! Seven, seven. Yes, dude, yes! You love to see it! Fell Rattler here is pretty intriguing with hero power. Well, not even with just, just anything really, but... Fell Rattler relics also kind of intriguing. I think I just want to play a tail and then go face for seven, to be honest. This is not what we I think I can clean all this up later, right? And now hitting doesn't really matter, but I might want to hit one of these based on the Fell Rattler or relic roll. So we'll chill on the weapon here. <sighs> Imp lock nerfs are so efficient. I still win with it. No problem. Yeah, we've had the same experience. <laughs> Didn't matter too much. <laughs> uh yeah it, it, small change ultimately they said they they literally did say they didn't want to hurt the the nerf decks too much they were more focused on bringing up bad decks i guess right wow dude najak op gross fell rattler now feels a lot stinkier I mean, I guess I'm giving them the Talon, huh? It's gonna be almost impossible to snipe that. That's gross, dude. It's really gross. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> I don't think anything gets around this, right? Fell Rattlers don't work. It's okay, though. Still a decent turn, I think. It's like, I cannot send seven into the Najak, right? I, I want to relic these. Time. I mean, it's pretty likely to hit at least one and then I finish the other with my hero power. Maybe we snipe both if we get lucky, right? Don't, don't do this to me. Okay, that's fine. I'm already attacked. Oh shoot, I forgot I attacked with a weapon. Scratch that plan. Scratch that plan. <laughs> Ignore that plan. <laughs> Retreat. Retreat from that plan. Kind of intrigued they didn't take the Crixus, by the way. I guess I guess it it uh, it didn't have taunt, so it's much worse. Yeah, that would have been no problem at all for us. Uh oh, oh god. Okay, that's gross. Not hitting the two ones gonna hurt here, isn't it? Surely that trades, right? It goes face. Wow. What do you know? Well, I'm a little annoyed. I wanted to draw cards. <laughs> They're playing this well. <laughs> Shoot. I, I feel like I got to kill the 5-5 five five now. I'm actually in a bit of a pickle here. A little bit scary. Okay. 10 seems not safe at all. They've gone very hard face, so I think we're going to be dead very, very soon. This feels like a Krabatoa hit me for four. Do you get a nice reload if that happens? Usually that's just good, but I'm at six health, which does not feel good. Losing the Denathrius too, you can see how big of a deal that's going to make since we have the Kael'thas in hand already. Okay, that is not particularly aggressive yet. All right, that's good news, maybe. Uh, sticky, we don't have to worry about. Kidnap not really a huge concern double cross i don't know we'll see how we feel about double cross i guess uh we actually want this to stick because it's a taunt uh i see no reason to double cross i don't think one damage matters here right we technically have 14 15 next turn yeah let's not give them more more options to find damage outs right i think that's scary they have dodged these Crixus card draws for like forever, but he's also hit for like 21 damage and killed a 5-5, right? So he's he's gotten his value in the meantime. I think we have to say he's been worth it. 21 damage is a lot and killing a 5-5 is pretty good. Really shocked they left the Crixus up with that 5-5 turn. It's like if they didn't have the lethal setup, I really expect them to go, you know, for the trade there. It was like such a clean trade. Oh shoot, that might be one of these amazing cards I just drew. <laughs> God, they they probably think, oh my God, I have all the best choices in the world. I need a two drop so bad. No, I mean Blackthorn's still usually really good, right? 
what does he hit he hits razor boar and treasure guard yeah second treasure guard's really nice he only has two minions though so i don't actually have to take this trade huh that said kind of free maybe i'm gonna be putting them to 10 with a boar and a guard i guess it's kind of not free actually no i think we need to go face two taunts hopefully is enough even with the addition of the four three right hopefully yeah and we're not gonna use zero power again because we don't want to give them stuff again Yeah, they could have a scabs, but that doesn't change the lethal counts or anything here. I would actually be able to play a uh, Denathrius in that case, which would not be lethal. But but hero powering does not change that either. None of my minions die, so if there is a scabs, that is. But he might clear the uh, the four twos if they go for scabs at least, right? Um, so I guess we'll see. Not always, but sometimes anyway. That does feel like scabs, yeah. Sadly, my hand isn't more full. I would love if some of these died and infused the Denathrius, right? That would be sick. Ran off the top right now would be very nice. It's not even that unlikely, honestly. Starfish instead? Nah. We'll just go Treasure Guard here to be safer, right? Oh boy, what is that? Secret. My past cannot shame me. I don't know. I am nervous though. You hate to play this for five, but I think it's just mandatory, right? I think we just have to. We'll hopefully kill at least one, right? Okay, that's fine. Big heal, taunt still up, Tintin, uh, life still guy is pretty nice. You know, we just put a lot of stats into play of nothing else. Big heal, like I said, I mean, Blackthorn's dead now, nothing left in deck. <sighs> Would've been nice to snipe both of these, but we'll take it. He looks so goofy, uninfused. Do you think so? I feel like he still looks pretty sick. I don't know. I mean, unusual, yes, but I don't know. I think you don't. I would call him goofy. It looks sick to me. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played one uninfused. Now that you say that. Well, yeah, it wasn't the draw secret, so it was sticky. Yeah, this whole time we could have we've done a couple of hero bars. I think it was definitely worth to test, though. Fine with that decision, but but we do know now. Tyrion. So surely smothering is usually lethal, but not always, because that could be an ice barrier or a vengeful. Oh, you're kidding me! They put the they put it back in the deck. Okay. So this is gonna give him a sticky situation. Is that a problem? I mean, I have to play spells, right? I can't get by here without playing spells. Gosh, dang it, dude! That grab on the starfish was really clutch. So they get a 3-4 here. Hit the 4-1. Oh, that's good too, actually. That's a good hit too. Uh, we'll go Relic here next. I'm a genius! This does remove the lifesteal though. If, 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 it is, if it is Ice Barrier, you know what I do? I think I attack the Tyrion first, right? To see if it's Oasis ally. And then... If not, it might be barrier or visage. Ah! I can't risk it. I can't risk it. I, I just can't risk it. It was barrier. Okay, so I made the right call to heal. Okay. I just had to, like, of course, if that had been an Oasis Alley, right, we, 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 Starfish, we hit face for 10, right? But since it wasn't reading Oasis Ally, I had to take the heal. Um, which of course is gonna extend the length of the game, but I can win a long game. I can't win a dead game <laughs> Right like I can win a long game. Am I dead? Oh my Okay Alkeus. Okay. So that's another, um... That's another barrier. Oh my god, this game just got too hard again. I mean, this feels like a very good starfish to me, but... I guess I just killed a Tyrion in that case? I'm losing my lifesteal again, though. I could start here, maybe, again. I draw basically my entire deck. I'm scared to... I, I, I think I need the heal. I'm a little nervous to lose the heal here. I feel like I need it because 
I need to just dump cheap cards. Ugh. Uh, nope, that's not cheap. I can't dump the starfish yet. I want to hit... Oh, I don't even have... I, it's really just Kurtris, right? Did I hit a Kurtris to interact with this better? I missed the Kurtris. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. I just need to heal. I don't even know if that's a net gain or not. That was the thing. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. They have 14. I, I actually think, despite how clunky that felt, this might have been more or less the correct turn. I don't know about the starfish, right? Maybe I'm just better off with another 7-7. Seven, seven. Because do I really care about the Halkius, right? I don't know. My thought was, you know, silence off the Halkius, but I don't actually know if that was worth anything in hindsight. Probably just better off with a bigger minion. I could have always silenced it later if I needed to, like, kill it later. So maybe that wasn't the right turn. Oh my god, another Tyrion, dude. I am so sick of these Tyrions, bro. This feels like an insane Zymox, but I'm gonna be in fatigue. I don't know what's happening anymore, man. This game went out of whack. <laughs> don't know, dude. I just don't know. The test was such a good follow-up to have right now, by the way. If they just go face, can I just win here? Like, this is a lot of damage they're leaving me, right? I have 13, 15. They're at, they're at 16 and 8. They're at 24. I guess I don't quite have it then. But I can do this at least and make, make a good Zymox play. He's going to make three minions. I need actually one more spot. So I guess we kill the Tyrion, even though it kind of sucks. Um, I draw a Kurtris, but I take Fatigue. I actually kind of need to trade in another minion to make room for Kurtris minions, maybe. Yeah, I know it fatigues me, but only by one and then... Two, like I take three damage off Zymox, but I heal five off Kurtris, right? So I'm saying I think it's worth it on an empty board, maybe. Because I just get a lot of stuff too, right? Remember, the Kurtz is free, it's playable, right? So. Okay, hit here. Oh, those suck. Those are bad rolls. Oh my god, I, I forgot how long it takes Kurtz to animate. Oh my god, dude. I killed the wrong minion. Did it even. I did! I did! Get the attack! I'm all, I'm dead to some draws here. I'm not dead on board. I take two. They have they have nine. They have eleven. Oh wait, I am dead. No, no, they oh they have eleven. I'm at twelve. No, I'm alive at one. I'm alive at one. Oh, they gave me a card, so I don't even take fatigue. Nice. I think we win. I don't even take fatigue. I was alive anyway. Surely this is plenty of damage. It's got to be. It's a million. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, crazy game. All right. I don't know how we got there. No, we knew it wasn't Visage. We knew what it was. We saw we saw the recast of Ice Barrier off test. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't know if I had a choice anyway, but... Uh, dude, I want a replay, by the way. I swear to god I queued that attack. It looked like it went through. It, it ultimately didn't end up mattering, right? It's fine, but still, it looked like it went through, man. Okay, uh, Quest Hunter, this is not the hand for sure. I don't really know what it is. I think Sticky Death Rattles seemed to work okay last time. Big swing boards in the mid game seem to work well. Denathrius, I suspect, might be a little slow for Quest Hunter, unfortunately. That might be hard to get going. Uh, I need a Death Rattle minion here, so let's go here. We don't know for sure it's Quest Hunter, of course, but it's most likely a Fender. You might be the only person in Hearthstone who thinks the Librarian should not have one health. I promise you, you are, should not have three health. I promise you, you're not. Yeah, it's very strong. Three health one drops in general have, I don't know, they, they've become, you know, common. They are scaling, scaling three health one drops are a very common entity in Hearthstone. So uh, I, I'm not a fan of them personally but it seems to be a model that they've gone back to a hundred times. 
So it's hard to say it's wrong. Wow, they have zero fear, dude. I'm actually sort of rewarded here because I don't have a I don't have a razor bear payoff. I keep calling this a razor bear, by the way. Like some sort of fool. Um okay. We are obviously desperate, right? We don't have time for, for this crap to go through, so. Yeah, uh, Tunnel Trog, Mana Worm, uh, Vicious Slither Spear, uh, Librarian now in, in Imp Warlock. Um, I'm sure that's only a handful of the examples. Wow, Doggy Biscuit for the trade, huh? All right, I'm cool with that, I guess. Is this worth a starfish to save two life? I just need, I just need plays, so. I think so. We are absolutely dying though, man. I need something miraculous soon. I don't feel like I've had any, not a single good play this whole game. <laughs> I got a very sticky, weird side of the hand here. Clunky side of the hand. What a delicious party. Aim shot already slamming face. I mean, treasure guard's a good part of the deck to see. The queen's I think this is going to be another tempo Kael'thas game and just hope for the best. I really doubt I'll have the right shape of stuff, though, on turn seven to get a Denathrius down, but I might need it. Might need it on turn six, unfortunately. <laughs> We're very, very dead. Very, very soon. Okay. My past cannot change me I'm not winning this game on counter pressure, right? So hitting face for five here, it's just too far off. I actually think I need to clear some minions. Um, weapon damage matter here? I doubt usually. I, I don't know. So, see, I need another cheap minion next turn. I guess if they kill this and I can get the Denathrius, heal seven. I have a shot, right? I really have a shot if I can hit a cheap minion here. Hit a cheap minion! Ah! I can't even trade in the treasure guard, dude. Oh! Oh, I don't have any way to kill the treasure guard off, dude. Oh, no. This comes up to and probably creates a need to trade at least a little here. This is a real pickle. Not even sure I can play phantasms because I need the board space potentially, right? Um, I may not be able to kill off enough stuff. I don't know. Yeah, this is a really weird trade, but I think I need as much health as I can get on the one four. I think the only I'm basically saying again, I, I don't actually think I can win this game in a race. I think the only way I can win is off of Denathrius recovery. So I'm saying like I have to go all in on this taunt right now. There is a chance it doesn't die again, but I'm trusting between the natural draw and the alacrity draw that I'll have enough for for Denathrius to go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Can it be? Can it be? Thank god I didn't play the board space, by the way, guys. Thank god I didn't play the board space, by the way, guys. I think I take an extra heal here, right? Uh, actually, I guess we go here then. I think I take an extra heal here. Eight, one, one health might make all the difference, right? So, yeah, let's trade in for sure. Wait, is he dead? Oh my god, it was almost a counter lethal, but surely 10 now with the taunt is safe. Man, I this could have gone face. Maybe I should have put one more attack face last turn, but you never know how it changes the game, right? They might have had a weapon, they might have had some other mechanism. Well played. 
<laughs> Thank God I traded. Oh my God. That hit Denathrius, dude. That saved me. <laughs> dude, I don't know. In hindsight, in hindsight, it feels like we should have counter pressured more. Like I should have went, like, you know, the Denathrius could have been a lethal, not just a heal, right? You know, in, in, at the time it seemed okay. In hindsight, I, I think we could have gone face a little harder. I, I didn't think we would have time. Because, you know, basically I was expecting to, to hit the Denathrius a turn sooner on turn seven, not turn eight. So I thought, let's play for the stabilization. And then we missed on the minion draw, right? And then I had to extend it another turn. So it felt like going face, turning the corner there was not the right move. But it worked out, but I'm not going to say it was right. Do you ever keep Relic in the Mulligan? Uh, Relic. Relic of Dimensions, specifically in the Mulligan. I do feel like this is one of the most powerful cards in the deck. But, I don't know, we have a good kind of minion-y opener here. I think I'd rather get another Relic to contest for board early than the kind of follow-up Relic. Yeah, it looks like we were definitely rewarded here for our... for our intention as well. Kalefoss in hand already, okay. Hey, Grizzly Bear, thanks for the uh, 35 months, dude, that's insane. It's like three years, basically. Man. Reporting for duty. Can I get a good luck for starting my PhD in two weeks? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I'm not going to share my PhD uh, program experiences because I don't want you to. <laughs> I don't want you to dread it. But yeah, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> I wish you the best for sure. All right, let's actually go phase here a little bit. I don't know how duty they're going to be, but it doesn't really feel like a dude deck yet. I don't think the punish here is going to feel too high, and I think a little pressure is always nice. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. Yeah, that's totally fine. This is good for us. Nice little Fell Rattler bonus is good. Tusk Piercers, unfortunately, we have a little too many of these. <sighs> I think I just rip one now, though, to draw right. We don't care too much about the durability upside. Yeah, Talon's certainly a great fit next turn, so that's great. Talon hits us to Nathrius as well. We already have Bran Kael'thas, <laughs> so it's sort of the perfect setup here. Unfortunately... You know, we're not going to have a lot of infuse value, I don't think. But that's all right. That's all right. We even have coin in hand, too, so. Oh, boy, that is a neat little combo as well. Um, nah, we better kill this. I was a little worried about the upside on this, but uh, there's also the risk that Talon, like, doesn't die very easily. But that's okay. We have some time, right? This is a turn eight play, so... I think we'll have time to kill off Talon, and in the meantime, of course, we've got some really sick, sick plays here, so that's, uh, it's gonna be perfect. Hey, thanks for the gifted sub, Moish, dude. Thank you. Uh, congrats to toss my Sala. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> congrats. Thank you, though. Yeah, let's definitely rip this. It's gonna be nutso. It's like the super Skull of Gul'dan play here. Something playable in the back end would be nice. Ugh. Okay, that's playable. That's good. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want a coin here though, for sure. Let's uh, let's see. Next turn, we could actually go for Denathrius. He's just not going to be activated much, right? So we're probably going to be doing other things in the meantime. Let's just wait on this weapon swing. I'm trying to figure out what my next turns look like. It's probably always Blackthorn, but what do I have left? Treasure Guard, Crixis, Fell Rattler. Oh, that's enough actually. Okay, that's actually a good good sick. Play, if that makes the most sense anyway. Fell Rattler looks really good against that 5-1 in particular, right? So yeah, Fell Rattler off the off the Blackthorn here seems perfect. It's always Crixus Guard Rattler, right? There's nothing else? No, it's always those three. Nice. It's really good. Now the weapon is dead here, but that's okay. Do I take five or just trade in a three, two? I think I go ahead and trade in the three, two, actually. This weapon doesn't draw anymore. I mean, it's Paladin. Can't I take five? Like, who cares? I'm going to take five. It's freaking Paladin. Who cares? 
this did cycle under Dominion, right? So I wasn't as worried about that side of it so much. It's just like, I don't know. It takes five. Okay. So Denathrius is going to be 10, which is actually like 20 with Bran. So unfortunately not actually, good God, dude, we've drawn our entire deck. Uh, so Denathrius is not lethal yet, right? We've got Kale, Bran, Denathrius, it's 20. Um, so that's not lethal. Let's wait a little bit. Treasure Guard resummoned because it got pulled off of a... Uh, Razor bear, razor boar, razor boar. I think this might just be a Zymox in this case. I could go for the phantasm since they just went for board. I mean, abyss, Zlog is also pretty good. Actually, I could do both, frankly. I'll still have the mana next turn. Well, I can't do both. That's that's way too much. Uh, eh. I want to play, I want to play relics, right? This is also a ton of damage. There's so much damage across the board. <laughs> it's hard to make a decision. There's just so many good plays, right? I'm gonna go here. I think this is actually technically our best play, right? It's both good for Denathrius and both his, his, his getting pumped up, but also setting up more damage, right? So this feels correct, even though it's kind of the least fun play, to be honest. I, I, I have a bit of a... Okay. Gosh dang it, dude. <laughs> Denathrius! Where are you? Okay. That actually is a sad burn because that's very powerful right now with a relic. Um. Okay. This is good now. We're just setting up again. This guy now needs a lot more work because uh, Cariel actually does limit him by half, you know. But that's okay. We're getting some some heat through here. Do I actually go for a uh, giant board of relics here? Because I definitely can. I think we should, yeah. They just used a bunch of removal in a row, right? So this should be fine. I don't need a ton more damage because it, it kind of loses... It diminishes a value a little bit over Cariel, right? So... Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I, I kind of thought these were bigger. <laughs> I'm being straight with you. I guess we haven't really played that many relics. When I said big board, I I guess what I really meant was wide board, because these actually aren't very large. Really not very big at all. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. I mean, they're big enough maybe, right? They're big enough maybe. So this is now 16. Now it does do that twice in two different chunks, which I guess is kind of the same difference, but Theoretically, that's like eight and eight on an empty board, right? Um, so it's really like six. It's really like just taking face up, right? Because which should should be a lethal here, right? That absolutely makes this feel like a lethal. That's a nine mana play. So I can also hero power once. Um, okay, sure. They must have. Was it even like just lethal on the board with what with hero power swings? My god, it was so much damage. I don't know. We had about 17 ways to win, probably. Okay. Ooh, spicy early Denathrius. Let's look for a better. I mean, Fel Rattler can be good against certain types of, of Denathrius druids. Maybe we keep it, actually. It's nice to have like a, a guaranteed chain here, too, which is good. Ah. Will they add a fourth relic? I hope so. That would be cool. It still seems like it might need a little help. Oh, well, I don't know. I've played one game. I can't say that yet. I don't know. Dude, Doze and Kelp Keeper seems so good in this deck to me. I don't know why. It seems like it shuts out everything I want to do today. Every time I see a Kelp Keeper, my heart drops. How do I beat that? It's too good. It's take a while, of course, but still. Coin Phantoms? Nah, we'll coin a Razor Fin. There's no reason to cheat this out yet. It doesn't have any upside yet, so. This has a lot of upside, obviously, with, with the chains of minions here. Denathrius is a good win condition for this matchup, though, I think. Could help us uh, steal a win that might otherwise be really challenging. Ooh, now there's some relic upside. So do we maintain the chain and go for relics? Probably so. Yeah, I could technically wait till next turn, but uh, we don't really want to rip through all our death turtles anyway for this guy, so. 
What class has the best hero power? Historically, I would have to say Warlock, for sure. I don't think it's really all that close. Oh my god, yeah, let's do it, dude. Let's do it! Relic is gonna be insane. It does remove our ability to get a lot of big relics against Druid, which can be good, but even these small ones are still pointing us towards a win condition with Denathrius, right? So I think it's okay. There's sort of a bonus of keeping these death rattles in hand against uh, Theotar, I guess, too. I don't know if Druids are running Theotar all that much, but if they are, we're good to go. Oh, jeez, that's scary. All right, give me some good draws here. Relic again, actually, we'll just rip it, I think, yeah. Next turn is looking a little light, to be honest. I mean, Sigil can help fix that, but... Okay, so we're gonna lose, start losing the board really hard here soon, no question about that. We have some good plays, though. I mean, well... Not really yet, honestly. <laughs> I think we just lose. I don't know. The turn five Topior or whatever is pretty tough. Bum, 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 bum. Why take three damage to face? Uh, to protect a 1-1 one -one on board? Because that 1-1 one -one does later things. It has upside later, right? It can hit minions. It can be a persistent threat. Okay. It can feed a spammy Arcanist. <laughs> In this particular case. <laughs> Aelin's a pretty solid draw, actually. It's a Zymox, which we know is already kind of jacked up, right? So that's good. This is not what we stood for. Blackthorn next turn's really solid, too. Zymox, I mean, I guess we want to infuse him first, probably, right? So, I don't know. I, I probably want one more good relic batch if I can, but, but Blackthorn thins out the deck for that at the very least. It's good. Be scrappy with scrap. How do I beat this endless army of three threes though? Fell Rattler would have been very nice here, huh? We can get another one, I guess. Fell Rattle me, dude! No Fell Rattler. Crixus is still a really sick courtesy though. Even this uh, currently has some upside, so that's good. Not bad, not bad. We could have a lot worse rolls here. Well, actually, no, we couldn't have. <laughs> not with what's left in the deck, actually. Not true. I guess a Fell Rattler would have been insane. And uh, the only other card's another Razor Board, which we already got. So, never mind. This was okay, but also as bad as it gets. As, as amusing as that sounds. Uh, now, this does almost single handedly feed Zymox, particularly when uh, this one chains into a new unit, right? So, that's good news, at least. Uh, Denathrius is also getting pretty pretty jacked up, but we need more support there. Also, we're just falling dramatically behind on 3-3s three here. And dramatically behind on life. And, I don't know, we're just losing. Fell Rattler would have really helped, I think. Would have removed uh, 9 damage from play, right? <laughs> oh, interesting! Interesting, interesting. Where is the brand off the top? It's actually too expensive still, but I'll take it anytime. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's the brand. Nope, no brand. Okay, sure. Can I get a relic, maybe? That is a relic, but it uh, is a little bit hard to work with, actually. Uh, actually, this just draws a card, right? So, I mean, summons a card out of hand, which is helpful for me. So that I can play... Oh, actually, this is going to go off four times, though. I have to dump a lot of cards from hand. Oh, shoot. Dang it, dude. I don't want to spend a bunch of mana first. There's the brand at zero. Okay, interesting. Kurtris is pretty sick, actually. And Relic is really sick. Okay. I think we use this to clear it. Well, actually, the Kurtris units don't have a ton of value, but I, I can't also make them very big yet either, so... I don't know. Let's just use this, I guess. Mm, 
I do want them to be bigger or do I want more damage to face? Actually, I want more damage to face because they're three fours anyway, which is good against uh, Good against the oh my god. Oh my god, please please. Oh my god Yeah, start your turn sooner. We all know we all know we know how this conversation goes for the millionth time yeah, I, I added a million stop signs between you and your work but it's okay, you can just leave work. You leave leave for your commute six hours sooner, okay? We all get it. We all know how this... <laughs> we've had this conversation literally a hundred times. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying this... Oh, that's a really good roll for us. Nice. I'm gonna keep saying the same thing. I'm gonna keep saying the same thing. They arbitrarily added 40 stop signs on my drive to work. It does not mean it's okay to leave four hours earlier, right? It's just annoying that there's so many stop signs. So Zymox is, is pretty nuts now. I mean, the relics are ginormous, but is it enough? Is Brand is, is Denathrius enough? It's currently 40 damage. The opponent is at, oh my God, wait, is Denathrius gonna be enough? It's totally gonna be enough, right? They're at, um, they're at 41, right? Uh, that, no, is that, that's not 41, Regis. That's 39 plus 3 is... Four, oh my god, why, I, my brain literally just shut down. 28, 38, and 3 is 41. They are at 41, Regis. You do have lethal, because this is 40 plus your weapon. Oh my god. My past cannot change. I'm a genius, bro. <laughs> Drink some water. <laughs> Dude, listen, I know how to count. Just deal with it, okay? Imagine if the damage I missed last turn cost me here. I would be very, very salty. Nice, dude. Okay. I took every card of the deck, but we did get there. <laughs> you know, like we had to go to the bottom here. But pretty nice. I don't think we need Kurtis early. Let's look for a better Death Rattle package. The Crixus, if we can hit a three drop in particular, would be really nice. But good, good relics otherwise. That's cool. Yeah, Death Rattle would be the flavor home run for Denathrius, I guess. Sort of. Like, it'd be a murder mystery flavor home run, but a little, little weaker for, for my, like, I'm sucking up your anima. And... Because how are you shooting out? Maybe maybe he's shoot, he's expelling all the anima he's absorbed throughout the years, right? He's... <laughs> I've always heard those, like, post-mortem... Uh, releases you know maybe maybe he's <laughs> he's pooping out the anima <laughs> with his last breath i don't know uh man I, I don't hate this let's um let's think about that it's 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 quite a few bodies i could go for a relic first as well maybe it's still right to play here first this is definitely going to be a nice little line, though. <laughs> like, can't wait for this to be in the YouTube video, by the way. It's always, like, every time I edit a video, it's, like, the, the one game where I'm talking about some absolute nonsense where I don't want it to be in the YouTube video because it's, like, oh, God. I don't want to have to try, <laughs> try to edit around this. That's always the game that makes it into the YouTube video. So, I'm sure this will be some amazing, unavoidable highlight game right now. It's gonna be a 40 minute game at this rate, I think. It's always tough, these guys. These Razor Bear Boars always create real pickles to the opponent, I feel like. People always have trouble with these. Cause it's, it really is just sort of a gamble. It's like, well, am I am I gonna get punished for killing this or not? It's always a tough decision point. Ah, we got a mirror match here maybe. They're running a fell package. We're running a death rattle package. We'll have to see who's, who's ends up feeling better. All right, I'm gonna go Relic. <sighs> It's like, I don't know. This is the turn. I want to I want to get value out of this, of course, but I also really want to pump up the Relic of Phantasm ASAP. I want those to be two twos and three threes at least, right? I did see what Aleko said about Brand, Kael'thas, and Atreus. Yes, that they are monitoring the situation effectively, which is definitely good news. All right, this feels a little clunky, but it's the way to go. Bigger board this way. We've got 
Talon into Coin, Blackthorn, which looks pretty solid. Again, though, this stupid Crixus, man. I'm not sure I love this in the list. I'm sure there are moments where it feels amazing when you get it off the uh, Beastmaster, but thus far, that has not happened. Wow. <laughs> I rolled, dude. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's clean. All right. Thank you. Each scar. Okay, that's annoying to deal with, actually. Strike now. I mean, I guess not that annoying, to be fair. Field of Strife? It's a little more annoying, man. I want Denathrius ASAP, right? So we got to do this, I think. Denathrius with the Blackthorn is a really nice little pair. I think I'm just leaving these alive and going face. Like, I don't know if the punish is that high. I have a really good chance of getting a Fell Rattler on these later anyway. Like, I think I'm just leaving a face. There's a chance these live and I get the Denathrius in hand first because of the attack orders, right? So that would help infuse Denathrius a little bit faster. All of which can be a nice upside. If we do get, uh, if we do get a uh, Beastmaster, which I think we're very likely off the Blackthorn, that can definitely help us, uh, Get this Crixus rolling too, which could be nice. Okay. Yep, this is a uh, good order for our infuse. Thank you. Dude's up to seven. Oh, Relic with the button up. I think that's great, but I think Blackthorn's too good right now, especially if we get a Fell Rattler. We didn't get a Fell Rattler. Still pretty nice though. This is a good shape against the board at least. And these are really nice for the hand, too. We're going to get both of these, theoretically. All right. Not bad, not bad. I like how this deck has, a, like, a really nice mid-range feel. Uh, you know, it's it, it's it's it does really feel like a mid-range deck because you have all these kind of mid-to-late game threats of various types, these kind of bombs. I love bomb cards like Blackthorn and Zlog. That are just they're 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 threats, but they're still kind of honest, you know. They don't feel OP or crazy or anything. They're just good honest threats. I like cards like that a lot. Okay, that's nasty. This will help. The Crixus, please. I want to be able to attack with Crixus. Nice. That is a big deal. Oh, Z speaking of, dude, Zlog. I think you gotta go Relic here, though. It's just too insane. The discounts are so enormous. We're gonna be able to play tons of stuff. In fact, uh, a Fell Rattler would, would be nice again. <laughs> I can't find Fell Rattler to save my life, dude. Kurtris uh, at one is still pretty insane, though. Yeah, we'll take Kurtris at one. 4-4 four, four is plenty big, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty big, yeah. What have you sacrificed? Okay. I guess we... Do I just have a lethal? Oh. That's really boring, dude. It's really boring, dude. <laughs> That's really boring, dude. Oh, I really wish I hadn't checked. That's so boring, dude. No. 